Sweater season is upon us. I don't know how to feel about it as a gal who hates every other season but summer. Not a lot of people understand because a lot of people love the fall. I do too. It's, it's very conflicting. You get to wear big, comfy, oversized sweaters. Who doesn't love that? But summer's coming to an end. I just it's conflicting for me, fall is, but I have been seeing these oversized bell sleeve sweaters everywhere online and they're super cute. So I've been really wanting to make one. So that is what we're gonna do today. So I'm gonna be using this material here, which I got at a thrift store for I think a dollar and there's so much of it, but it's awesome because it has on each side a different kind of texture pattern. And it's also awesome because I totally don't need to hem any of the edges, which is like my favorite thing ever. So here's the deal. This is gonna be super simple because I'm just taking another thrifted top that I have and I'm just gonna use that as my pattern. It's a really baggy top and that's why I know that It'll be perfect for this because it's the exact kind of fit and style that I want for this sweater. Okay, just let me show you. So this is the top I'm gonna be using as my pattern piece. It's actually from H&M. Another reason why this is gonna be so easy is because we're not necessarily going to be making full sleeves. So you see how it kind of, at the armpit, it kind of curves down there. So I'm not gonna have to make a whole armhole and a sleeve that goes off the shoulder. I'm just gonna be doing a kind of slouchy design like this and tracing this was so gonna be super easy. And then after I do that curvature off of the shoulder and through the armpit, I can just make another sleeve like a tube and make it a bell sleeve like I want. So super simple. <laughs> Thank you. 
you enjoyed this one. Just a couple things. So obviously you can customize this sweater however you want. So for example, I left the sides open. I cut my front bit a little bit shorter. I rolled up the sleeves and tacked those in place. I left the the edges raw, you know, I did a crew neck, you could do a v-neck. So there's a lot of things that you could change up about this but I just love this super easy off the shoulder uh, sleeve type of pattern. It was so, so simple. So I really encourage you to give it a try and let me know how it goes. If you do, tag me on Instagram, please make my day. And thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next time.